So on the 1st of October, we will be having the last roster update of the regular season. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you some guys who I think can go from gold to diamond and from silver to gold. This roster update is very important because this is going to be the second to last roster update. And it's going to be the last one until the end of the postseason. So you're going to have to make your subs here. So before we get into talking about some guys who I think can go from gold to diamond and from silver to gold. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be really appreciated. We are trying to get to 1k. We are so, so close, man. We're like, I don't know, like 60 away or something like that. So I'd appreciate if you guys can subscribe subscribe to the channel i also really appreciate if you could like the video and drop a comment on who you will be investing in we're also dropping the discord at 1k so do that also subscribe to the second channel and follow the twitter in the link in the description down below and yeah let's get into the guys who i think can go from gold to diamond and from silver to gold so first gonna start off with their silvers to gold because we only have a couple of them and first off we're gonna start off with frankie montas frankie montas in the second half of the year has been amazing and in the last 14 days which is three starts for him 17.1 innings a 2.60 era he has a 1.154 whip a 9.9 .9 strikeouts per nine and 19 strikeouts in those 17.1 innings frankie montas has been amazing in the second half of the year and he's had a pretty good year in general he's carried the staff ever since chris bassett was unfortunately hit by that line drive but uh, Frankie Montas has been pitching really well. And in the last month, a 2.61 ERA and five starts, a 9.6 strikeouts per nine and a 1.1 whip. He's been very, very good uh, the second half of the year. Really good this month as well. I definitely think Frankie Montas deserves to go silver. He's pitched very well. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying some Frankie Montas pitching the ball well. And he can get some upgrades, of course, in those hits in case per nine. He's not giving up any runs. And uh, I definitely think Frankie Montas deserves to go gold. After Frankie Montas, I'm surprised this man is not a gold already. He is a literal MVP candidate. It makes absolutely no sense. It's Austin Riley. I don't know why Austin Riley is not a gold already. I mean, it's self-explanatory. He's literally an MVP candidate. In the last seven games he's played, he's got a 1,200 OPS and he's batting 406 with three home runs and with a T OPS plus at 163 uh, in the last seven starts. This man deserves to go gold. He's an MVP candidate. What's what's going on, SDS? Get him to gold already. It's self-explanatory. I don't really have to go further. Like, eh, Ramon, what are you doing, bud? What, what are you doing? After Riley, who should obviously be a gold, we have Frank Schwindel, the absolute go. All Cubs fans call this man the legend. You know, you are subscribed to Birdo. Shout out, Birdo. Uh, he, he calls him the greatest player of all time. Uh, yeah. Frank Swindell, great, greatest player of all time, honestly. He's he's a GOAT. He's fun to watch as well. He's been hitting the ball well in the last 14 days. That's 12 starts at 9.06 OPS. And in the last 28 days, it's 24 stars, a 1,070 OPS, a 3.59 batting average, and a 400 OBP. I definitely think Frank Swindell deserves to be a goal i mean he's been hitting the ball very very well they can give him a nice boost in his stats especially versus righties he's been hitting the ball very well uh he has a 937 ops versus righties he definitely can get that power up with eight home runs i definitely think swindell can get that power versus righties up he's been hitting the ball very well and i definitely think frank swindell deserves to be a gold after King Frank Swindell, we have Emmanuel Classe. Emmanuel Classe, man. He's been pitching the ball very, very, very well. He has a 1.35 ERA on the year, 2.6 war. He's been pitching very well in the last 14 days, which is five appearances. He has not given up a run. And in the last 10 appearances he's had, he has only given up one earned run. Emmanuel Classe has pitched amazing. And in my opinion, he definitely deserves to be a goal. I don't know why he's not a goal already. He's pitched so, so well. Uh, I definitely think Emmanuel Classe deserves to go gold. In my last silver to gold, which I told you, it's not going to be a lot of silvers to golds. Uh, it's Framber Valdez. Framber Valdez pitching very well this year. I know he was injured at the start of the year. So he only has 21 starts this year. 
but in his last 14 days which is two appearances 13.2 innings a 1.1 whip a 5.9 strikeouts per nine he's been pitching very well he hasn't been giving up any runs and in the last 28 days which is four starts in 3.28 era pitching very very well uh 6.9 strikeouts per nine that's nice pitching the ball well and for the year 2.98 era 118 strikeouts 1.2 whip he's been pitching the ball very well in my opinion it deserves to be going even if he doesn't go gold this october update definitely look out for him in the postseason because the astros in my opinion are going to have a deep run in the postseason so uh, framber valdez will be a key part in that rotation with lugar and uh granky so uh definitely watch out for framber valdez going gold if he doesn't go gold this update definitely wait for the postseason because he will get the upgrade there because he pitched very well in the last postseason i think he can pitch well again in this postseason so after framber valdez we're gonna move on to the golds the diamonds and i know this is what you guys really really want the juicy part of the video right here and we're gonna start off with julio urias julio urias for the year man been pitching very very well 3.01 era for the year in 31 starts 188 strikeouts this year and a one whip and a 4.3 more that is very good for julio urias he's been pitching lights out uh in the last 14 days a 3.38 era and that's in three appearances 16 innings pitch a 1.1 whip a 7.3 strikeouts per nine in the last month a 2.34 era and six starts he has a 0.98 whip and a 9.1 strikeouts per nine julio urias pitching the ball very well this whole entire year in my opinion he deserves to be a diamond and uh that dodgers rotation is just stacked i don't know what to say man julio urias is like what bueller kershaw scherzer he's like the four starter on that team oh my gosh that is that is crazy Julio Urias, the four starter on this team, is a fucking animal. Like, oh my gosh. We're going to move on to Tyler O'Neill, which is a pretty obvious choice. Uh, I mean, it's self-explanatory. If you watched baseball in the last week or two, uh, you know about the Cardinals 16-game winning streak. And uh, in the last 14 days, he has a 1,084 OPS and seven home runs. And in the last seven days, with eight starts, four home runs. It's like he's hitting a home run every single game. Tyler O'Neill, he probably will get the player of the month card, which I'm not going to talk about that right now because we're probably going to have a video on that. And uh, yeah, Tyler O'Neill, pretty obvious choice. He definitely is going to go from gold to diamond. He is my lock, all right? He's, he's going uh, from gold to diamond. I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. He's been hitting the ball so well. After Tyler O'Neill, we have his teammate. His teammate. Paul Goldschmidt, the Hall of Famer. Uh, in the last 14 starts, he has a 1,368 OPS. He was just one away from having 1,369. OPS. He has a 400 batting average, a 477 OBP, seven home runs in the last 14 starts, and then the last seven starts, five home runs. These power stats, they need a boost. They are so low for how well he's hitting the ball this year. And for the year, he has 31 home runs. He's been hitting for power. Only has 69 power versus righties, which is nice. And 74 versus lefties. That's disrespectful in my opinion. I definitely think Paul Goldschmidt should have a boost in power. Uh, he's hitting the ball well in the last 14 days. And in the last month, the 340 batting average. You can even make an argument he is the player of the month. After a Paul Goldschmidt, we have Nicholas Castellanos. The man that you need to hope doesn't hit a home run or else someone is going bye-bye. Uh, Nicholas Castellanos in the last seven days with just six starts. 308 batting average, the 367 OBP, a 692 slugging percentage, and a 1059 OPS, hitting the ball very, very well. Uh, his defensive stats are going to hold him, so, you know, he may not be the greatest investment, but, I mean, he went diamond at the start of the year because he was hitting the ball so well, and he's still hitting the ball super well right now, and since his team is not going to make the postseason, in my opinion, uh, I definitely think he can, get the, he can get the aggressive upgrade. And, uh, I mean, in the last 14 days, 849 OPS. And in the last month, the 906 OPS. Hitting the ball pretty well. But in the last seven days, he's making that nice push. And definitely, I think he deserves to go diamond. He's been hitting the ball extremely well. After Nick Castellanos, we have Luis Robert. And, I mean, I said in my last roster update video, he should go diamond. But he went to an 84, which is all right. But, uh... 
again, it's self-explanatory in his last five starts, a 1,122 OPS, and in his last 14 days, which is 10 starts, a 1,094 OPS. I mean, I said it in my last roster update video, he deserves to be a diamond. If he played the full year, I think he probably would have been a 90 overall by now. But uh, yeah, Luis Robert hitting the ball well, definitely in my opinion, deserves to go down. After Robert, we have a guy who uh, is also a Cardinal and it's Harrison Bader. Oh my gosh, Harrison Bader in his last month, uh, 1,042 OPS, a 354 batting average and six home runs. He's an animal. And in his last 14 days, 1,200 OPS. And in his last seven days, a 1500 OPS like oh my gosh Harrison Bader I don't know what to say man he's gonna go diamond I mean he asked the defense for and they're gonna upgrade his hitting stats if he doesn't get an upgrade I am going to be cheesed man Harrison Bader he's hitting the ball so so well again he's a part of that hot Cardinals lineup and I definitely think he deserves to go diamond after Harrison Bader, we got the GOAT. I don't care what anybody says. John Carlos Stanton, common success Stanton, especially against the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox are just the Yankees' baby at this point. My gosh, John Carlos Stanton. Woo, 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 he's hot. And in his last seven days with the six starts of 1,400 OPS, four home runs. And in the last 13 starts, seven home runs. This is self-explanatory. John Carlos Stanton is going diamond. And if not, he's going diamond after the postseason. So you might as well invest in him now. And that's going to be it for the video. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be really appreciated. And again, the roster update is on the 1st of October. And uh, a lot of other stuff, the monthly awards, postseason program, the run it back stuff is coming in as well. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Leave a like, drop a sub. Uh, let's get the 1K, man. I want to drop this Discord. I want to drop a couple of bangers that I have for 1K. And uh, yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching. Peace.